All right, hey, good day, everybody. Hanging out here at Premier RV Sales and Service of Oregon. Wanted to drop this in at the very beginning again. If you do have a Highline Country Coach, Monaco, whatever it be, a good Highline Coach, and you want to cash out or looking to put it on consignment, hit me up at Brian Moto773 on my Gmail or uh, hit me up on my Instagram at Brian Moto773. But today I kind of wanted to go over the different models that Country Coach built. There's a lot of confusion in the names and which names meant what. So the first thing we'll go over is the Inspire. Actually, no, we'll start at the very beginning. So that's going to be the Tribute. And then it's going to go to the Inspire. And then I don't have either one of those two products in service right now. So the Tribute, the Inspire, and then the Allure. Now I've got two Allures here behind me. One is going to be basically the original rear cap of the Allure, which is really cool. On these, you see how there's only one row of tail lights right here. Okay, so that's going to be the back end of all Allures ever produced with that style rear cap. And then you've got this Allure over here, which would be the next generation of it. Back, show you the fronts of these Allures. So there's the front ends of both of these allures. Now the first one that we showed you, this older one here, is going to be a 2002, and that is actually going to be a little 32 footer. So there's your two allure body styles that were ever really produced. There is a 2010, and then Ron Lee's, the one that he built, the 2016, which would have a different front end than that. But there's very few of those. I only know of two of them one gentleman that has one up out of Washington in 2010 and then the guy that bought the 2016. This fine coach over here, the Rexall, my personal opinion, I'd stay away from it. We've got this Monaco Diplomat, but we're on our way over here to the backs of these Intrigues. I want to show you. So on an Intrigue, two rows of tail lights. So the back end of all Intrigues ever built until we started that new body style in 2006, would all have two rows. Now this one here has got the LED light conversion. That's where that one over there does not. There's a really nice coach. So then this would be the back of an Intrigue. So this is the back end of what all Intrigues look like until the end of productions. Now on 2009 and 10, they did get awnings on the very top of it. So let's go around to the fronts of these coaches. So that's gonna cover the Intrigue model. So then the next model up would be the Magna. So we'll go over here to actually this uh, 30th anniversary, coach number 22 out of 30, Magna. So now we've made our way to the back of the Magna and the affinity is going to be the same way. You're going to have three rows of tail lights. So from the very back end, when you come rolling up to the back end, any one of these Country Coach products, you can almost tell what model it is. If it's a lure or if it's an Intrigue and then the Magna and Affinities. Let me put you on pause, take you over to this uh, Magna over here. All right, so it's a beautiful day here in Junction City, Eugene, Oregon. But I wanted to show you the back of that Magna after I showed you that 30th anniversary. So here's the very last production of the back end of the Magna. 
Now in 2005, these fog lights would have been located here and then they ended up getting moved because of exhaust temperatures. But that's the back of the Magna. And then you come over here, here's the back of the 2002 Magna. And again, like I showed you on that 2004, you've got the three rows of tail lights. So let's go over here, we'll show you this cool affinity. So now Magnas and Affinities pretty much always look the same, except for the front cap. Now, in 2005 on the Affinity, we started to go with the square edge windows, which I've talked about how they leak and people are concerned about that. I want you to know by this point, if they're gonna leak, they're, they've already done it and you can probably find the damage from it. 2007, the windows were getting built so fast by CG that some of them are a little more questionable, but that's pretty much the gist on those windows. Don't let them scare you away from a coach that you find that's in good shape that you like. I'll take you around the front of this. So this is gonna be a 700 Affinity. So I've talked about the names the whole time throughout this video. And I'm gonna cover the numbers real quick because at one point in about 2005, we were gonna to try to ditch the names and go to all numbers. So then you would have had a 200 would have been a tribute, a 300 would have been an inspire, a 400 would have been an allure, a 500 would have been an intrigue, 600 the magna and the 700 the affinity. That was starting to get confusing so we ended up just keeping both. And so that's why you'll find if you look at a veranda, it'll just be a veranda and then a number. So that number would represent basically what model of coach that was with a veranda deck put on it. So I kind of wanted to go over those numbers because some people have asked about them, trying to get understanding of those. So the numbers ended up, we're gonna be replacing the name, but we never got to that point. And I don't think sales really wanted to stick with that because it was kind of getting confusion. But the Magna and the Affinity in 2005, the only thing different was the front cap. So on this coach here, the front cap starts right here and then goes down. So you could actually put the front cap off a Magna on an Affinity or an Affinity front cap on a Magna. I've known it to be done on one Magna out there that was totally done up, special order and whatnot, but that pretty much gives you the gist of it. Now after the Affinity, we did have the Alexa. We did have the concept in the past. So the concept ended up turning into the Lexa. And then the Lexa ended up turning into the Rap City. I know where there's one Rap City. I'm gonna try to get in contact with that guy to be able to shoot a video of it. So you can see what the top baller status plastic motorhome from Country Coach was in 2008 and nine, which would have been the Rap City, unless you ordered a bus conversion, but then you of course didn't get a Dynamax chassis. But this is a beautiful specimen of an Affinity really like the colors it's popping it's awesome fades and what have you in there but i kind of want to just go over all the models so it starts at the bottom the tribute the inspire the allure the intrigue the magna the affinity then the concept lexa or rhapsody those three would have basically been the same you could totally order them any way you wanted floor plan wise color wise fabric wise so on and so forth so thanks everybody for watching i hope this was a good little informational video on the different models that country coach had produced i'm going to get a little more data together maybe put a monaco video together if i can find a few of those coaches somewhere to be able to kind of show and tell but uh thanks everybody Hope you're all subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. Looking to get those numbers up there. That's a big YouTuber thing. Hit those notifications. But hey, everybody, even if you don't hit the notifications or the subscribe, hope you all have a great day. And thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.